Alright, I guess it's recording. I would say it's back go to the discotheque that I'm working this discotheque day. Discotheque day is coming tomorrow at this time at 8 a.m. Central Time. I'm working that day. So I cannot do this. But I'm going to give you a little pre-show of what's to come. As uh, well, my guess is to certain guess that they showed it's happening tomorrow at Anime Boston, 9 a.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific, a.m. Central, like 9, 9 a.m. Eastern. And they got like 9 guess, enough for 10 announcements. Yeah, but there are a couple of important guests that you might need to look on. By the way, this is also a little test of this video for the for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. See how well all this does for me. So, let's see. first up is Dead or Alive and Women Don't Admit. That gives showing like dead or alive gameplay with just a woman throwing a man. And my picks were Virtual Fighter, Blue Pond the Third, Farewell, Farewell to Nostradamus, because I don't think they're gonna do dead or alive just yet. They're gonna just do Farewell to Nostradamus first. Deck in the Motion Picture, Nikki Larson with an English dub, and Yawada, a fashionable judo girl. Could be a tough pick to say the least. Yeah, but I chose two. Make the most sense. Like, cause it may be kitty films, but so yeah. The Lana of Angel Judo Girl is I believe is still licensed from kitty films. And I suppose this could take a good through that and finally do what Anime Girl couldn't do. That's one announcer that that I think could be probable. And other one would be Virtual Fighter. It's very obvious. TMS is promoting it big time. Since like 2020, I believe it's streaming on Retro Crush right now. And yeah, she likes it. I think we're still trying to do a Blu-ray or SD Blu-ray of this thing, so. Yes, that is TMS. Maybe three or four chosen for this skit somehow. But uh, I'm gonna just say maybe I should have put Loop on the Third Green versus Red there instead of Farewell to Nostradamus because that's what I put for, for another GIF. Uh, you know about Loop on the third. Maybe that's the third one. Uh, and it's also uh, related to another guess that I'm gonna get to later. Second one they posted is <coughs> what I call Potassium, Charlie Horse, and a Banana. I had Banana Fish with an English dub. With that, this could be Discotech's longest English dub they ever done for an IP. But they wouldn't go that far, no way. There's also Aho Girl. I believe it's the most obvious of the choices since there's gotta be some Crunchyroll representation somewhere. Maybe that should be my pick. There's also the Nanya Steelbook, but I feel like it's rather lackluster for me. There's also Uma Musume, pretty good. It kind of fits with the Charlie horse. Yeah, I believe for this gift, it must be either Owl Girl or Uma Musume. Most likely Owl Girl. There's definitely a Crunchyroll license in there somewhere. Third gift, Sega Tessenshido. Just focus on what's there. <laughs> literally, literally, Cheryl 
of the music video for the Sega Sanctuary music video. I'm not sure what to think. They had going on with the Sega Saturn in Japan. And I got plenty of good, good guesses from people. Not the original guesses from me, but oh well. Uh, I, I can find some guesses that makes sense in this type of pattern. And I chose Sonic the Hedgehog, OVA, Virtual Fighter, and Sakura Wars Lumi Cherry Blossoms. And I mean, what I mean by that, I mean the first two batches of OVAs for the franchise. The ones done by Radix, and that were licensed rescue from, and that would be licensed rescue from ADV. Other picks I have that could make sense are Arcade Gamer Subuki, Kamen Rider, Sonic X Japanese version. A steel book of high school say how girls with an English dub and after episode. Oh. And the Neon Knights license. Sanchira Sugata, the original one. From Akira Kurosawa. The 1943 one. I like the possibility we were all there when they shared that thing. I can it's a straight on, full on music video. Alright. Get four. Since this is the second song, everybody's pulling off their gaming related stuff. Think we'll have another one. And it could be gaming or it could be not. I call it, it's gaming. G -g 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 -g. I have Summer Showdown over here collection. Uh, ADV had. There's also a steel book for Street Fighter 2 the anime movie. There's also a Street Fighter 2 V. Part of me is hoping Street Fighter 2 V. Like a SD Blu ray of that. That'd be cool. Alright. Oh, yeah. There are two English dubs for that one. One done by a manga US with animes for the US market, not for the UK market. <laughs> Apparently, that's where manga and anime was based at. And there was one that ADV licensed for the UK and they done their own dub. And a certain voice actor that you may know, need for knowing, <laughs> he had his first role with this anime. <clears throat> Next one, I had Deadpool vs. Gambit. And I picked Lupin the Third, Green vs. Red, because it's uh, just a face-off. There's other kinds of face-off, like Cyborg 009 vs. Devilman. There's gotta be some Lupin the Third representation in this panel. It's gotta be Green vs. Red. About time Difficult Tech would get to that one, dub it. <clears throat> There's some other good specials that Difficult Tech could dub. I don't know. Next up is a cute dancing robot kitty. I have Stand By Me, Doraemon, and What's Michael Over Here. I did not, I'm not saying Doraemon 2005 because Viz Media still has it. They're still promoting it. Well, it's not on Netflix. Yeah, I just don't know what Viz Media is doing with the 2005 Johnny Mon. But they do not have the Stand By Me movies. They are streaming on Netflix. And, and, and the sequel to that is a Netflix original film. Considered. Yeah, but the original one is not, so it's for fair game. Yeah, but I don't think it's that one. No way. There's also a Kitty Films OVA called What's Michael? Like, two OVAs. I think they, this could take a, like, remaster themselves. And. 
nine, maybe eleven. It's like a trade on that the fact that I can predict there is no shoujo representation, mainly shoujo representation in this panel this time. So we get some cute kitties instead. What's my cool OEA? Is my pick for that one. Next up, Belzebaz. <laughs> Doing another Tenacious D song pick. Belzebaz. I initially thought Belzebub Blu ray upgrade. It needs it. It needs it. But there's one up. Other one that I didn't think about because it's Belza. I picked Shauna King's Japanese version because, like, they're promoting English and Japanese versions of that, and it's about time the Japanese version gets promoted. And it's the Blu ray release details announced too. SD Blu ray. Also picked up the Cry Baby, but no way, no way. Oh, if only that there could be a, yeah, just a thing. What's predictability on that? But there could be an update on that Double Man Upscale Blu ray that just took release a lot. Uh, good announced last panel. And there's a real important one here. Tomorrowland with fireworks in the sky. Yep. They provide us with a Tomorrowland gift. And it's gonna make people happy, they say. Well, it's not Matt Cross. No way. Not this time. Not the time for that right now. It's Otakon worthy. Save it. It should, it should definitely be Gunbuster. Gunbuster dub cast announcement. Maybe not trailers, but just the dub cast announcement. Hey, I don't know if they could provide a clip, not trailer. Yeah, but I can know for sure. I can definitely tell for sure. They're gonna do a dub cast announcement. I gotta bring it up. I believe they're gonna do this thing like uh, by the end of 2022. And there's this one last gif that just came out like an over an hour ago. What? Well, by the time I'm recording this. A pirate ship irresistible through the storm clouds. It's very obvious there is one little thing that I can say for that gif. Captain Harlock Space Pirate Blu-ray upgrade. And they released it on DVD like nine years ago. Only option for that gift. Captain Harlock Space Pirate Blu ray upgrade. Like, the Galaxy Express 3 9 Pivot Blu ray upgrade. So can this. Oh, so regarding that Tomorrowland, I also suggested Interstellar 4 5 The Story of the Secret Star System. That's my stupid pick. Because, like, it feels so impossible to get. Because, and the music. They published this movie alongside Toei Animation. There's also Super Gear Axis, but. Maybe too soon for that. I don't know what King's Record is gonna do. Maybe they're. Maybe they're soon gonna release a. Uh, like a Blu-ray box for that season. It's gonna come out very, very soon, so. I'm sorry, but if that happens, we're gonna have to wait a couple years for that. I'm sorry. So, I got my 10 picks. They said 10 announcements. And I'm gonna do them what I think the order would be. Number one, Captain Harlock's Space Power Blu ray upgrade. 
Thank you from Toei Animation. Number two, what's Michael OVA series remaster? Thank you from Giddy Films. Number three, Sakura Wars Becoming Cherry Blossoms. License from probably Sega and or D-Rise. Rescue from AV. Number four, Aho Girl, the, the Crunchyroll representation. License from ADK. Number five, Sean McKinn Japanese version. License from ADK. Rescue from Four Kids Entertainment. Number six, we pull the third, Green vs. Red Blu-ray upgrade with an English dub. License from TMS Entertainment. Number seven, Virtual Fighter, license from TMS Entertainment, rescue from Media Blasters. Number eight, Gelada, a fashion judo girl, license from Kitty Films, rescue from Ananago. Number nine, Street Fighter 2 V, license from Capcom, rescue from Manga Entertainment US. And number ten, Sonic the Hedgehog, OVA, remaster, license from Sega and Studio Pivot. Rescue from ADV Films. They definitely should end with this highly requested thing, Sonic OVA. It's about that time. Maybe that should be the thing that should have been overcome. They got announced here anyway. I will show you a representation this time. I'm sorry about that. But it is what it is. Maybe, maybe they can like appreciate cats, I guess. Oh well, Ugh. that was a little test of this new phone camera. See how uh, my battery does after recording for like 17 minutes. So enjoy this Go Tech Day tomorrow, and I'll see you then.